Hey Tikis, okay today it's a new Living Royal Sock Inspired Manny, this time a zebra print, so fun. Let's get into it, I hope you like it. Now to do the zebra print I'm using water marble, obviously I'm using room temperature water, tap water which has been sitting on my shelf for a couple of days. The polishes that I'm using are from Cushio, the white one is Verona Lace and the black one is 2am in Hollywood. I've found that these two particular ones for doing a black and white water marble are the best because they don't mix too much in the water and turn grey. So I found that this is the easiest way to do zebra print, for me anyway, way easier than painting it. So you're just going to build up your bullseye to start with. Don't want to put too much uh, polish in the water, otherwise it will, even these ones will actually start to mix. So only a few drops and then get your tool, I'm using a water marbler from the Stylish Nail Art Shop and then just create these designs. Now you can see that you want sort of like a triangular design so just try and follow what I'm doing and then look at the design on the top of the water and decide which part of it looks most like a zebra print and then dip your finger in that. Now you can leave it at that or you can do this which is actually put the zebra's face on one of your nails. I'm using my accent nail which is my ring finger and I'm using Joshik Polish's Believe which is a gorgeous beautiful grey and it only required two coats to cover that water marble for his nose and then I'm coming in with some black acrylic craft paint to do the eyes and the nose. Easy and kind of cute. Now once the black for the eyes is completely dry you can come in with a little bit of white acrylic craft paint and just do the inside of the eyes and that gives you your black border. And while we're waiting for the white to dry you can use a small dotting tool to create the little nostrils at the end or the edge, the tip of your nail uh, and it's basically kind of a line but you're using a dotting tool to give you that sort of soft effect. And then using a dotting tool again, we're going to do the same kind of thing in the eyes. And then once everything is dry, you can go ahead and seal it all in with a good quality top coat. I'm using Sesh Feet for this one. And that's it. I really hope you like this one. It's so easy and fun to do. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye chickies. Oh, and thank you for subscribing. And thanks for that delicious thumbs up. Bye.